Hi and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Well, an unusual species to have a look at today. It's the Pseudocrenilarbus phalander dispersus, which comes from Namibia, which is in southwest Africa. So it's a mouth brooding cichlid. Uh, they get to about four inches uh, in size, fully grown. They can be found in Lake Otojaikoko, which is a sinkhole in uh, the north of the country. The common name for them is the blue lip cichlid, so they're very similar to the Egyptian mouth brooder, the multicolour. So the care for them is pretty much the same. So pH of round about 7 uh, and a temperature of about 78 degrees Fahrenheit and you'll do fine. So these are actually Steph's fish. Uh, she picked up a trio of them from Wharf Aquatics last year uh, when we went and got the uh, Thomas Cichlidus fracky. So she's been breeding them since. So what we found is they're not very aggressive. Uh, as you can see from the video, uh, we've got them in a tank. There's a load of endless guppies in there and a load of swordtails, which actually breed as well. And some of them uh, do survive. So they do hunt some of the fry, but like they're still a load there. So it's best to keep them in a trio if you can. So this is the male, uh, as you can see, uh, with the big uh, blue lips and like he does breed with both of the females um, so we've got one of the females is actually in the net in the tank at the moment um, so with them being mouth brooders like we're just waiting for her to, uh, to drop them out and then put it back in the tank again but it looks like the other female is actually holding as well at the moment they've not been evaluated for the red list of threatened species but they are thought to be threatened uh, by habitat changes. So it was reported to be plentiful when they were first described in 1938, but they installed a pumping station into the lake in the 1930s, and that's thought to have destroyed some of the fish, or the water might have been poisoned by cannon, which was thrown into the lake by the Germans before they surrendered during the Second World War. Here's some of the grow outs, so these ones are about four months old at the moment. Well, that's about it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see some of you at the Northwest Cichlid Group auction next Sunday. And if not, I'll see you all on the next one.